Yeah, so a couple of us on the team are currently working on the lab intercepting SMS messages. Um, the lab is basically going to be a simulated exploitation of an SS7 network, which is used to exchange data between different devices on the telecommunications network. So this is important because uh, SMS is used as a form of two-factor authentication on a range of services. You've got email, uh, my bank use it as a form of two-factor authentication, and you probably heard quite a lot about it in the news re uh, recently. There's been quite a few breaches based around the fact that attackers have managed to intercept SMS messages that have been sent as a form of two-factor. SS7 is kind of inherently insecure. Basically, the primary security around it is actual access to the network. So it's tightly controlled, but there are still ways of getting onto the SS7 network. Uh, it's kind of, think, almost like a walled garden architecture. So the way we've built the lab on the Immersive Labs platform is we've got a SS7 stack which is simulated in the background using some open source technologies and then we've got a banking website that's separate to that that you have to basically get access to through a credentials link somewhere. Um, so once you've got on to a valid account, you then have to send money to your bank account. But to do this, there's obviously a two-factor authentication that takes place before the payment can be um, made. So you'll have to basically use the SS7 network to intercept the SMS which will then let you transfer the funds into your bank account. So I think from a red and blue team, I think you'll get to see quite a, quite a lot of the principles of why SMS may not be the best way of implementing two-factor authentication. Yes, yeah, so the simulated SS7 network lab is now available on the Immersive Labs platform.